Hello everyone, this is Dan Desktop Support and today we are going to be talking about Active Directory and how do we use as a help desk support specialist or IT support or anyone that's in IT, how do we use Active Directory and why do we need to learn Active Directory basically. Active Directory is a part of our job and it's going to be um, basically it's, it's something that's going to be already there. You're not going to be the one who's going to be creating a directory or anything like that all you do is managing users and computers and little basic stuff that is going to be a part of your job so this chapter is under chapter 3 active directory used by IT support slash help us and first thing in, uh, in lecture 8 it will tell you what is active directory and it's a little article and this one is a little bit more like little stuff like you know shortcuts and how to make it and stuff like that but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys exactly what we do and work how 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 do we use it like how how does it is it going to come in play so what we need to do is um go to google and type microsoft active directory labs okay so once you type Microsoft Active Directory Labs, you'll see the first link, Technic Virtual Labs, and now let me tell you something about these labs. Basically, it is already, uh, we're, we're going to be, when you come down, this, this right here is Windows Server 2003, and when you come down to Management, you will see these three links in here. The only link we're worried about is right here is New User Interface of Active Directory. So, now what this is, it's a uh, it's a virtual labs from Microsoft. It gives you a time limit, uh, and in that time limit, you can do anything in that server. Um, that saves you a lot of time. You don't have to download your own server. You don't have to do worry about licensing, and you don't have to do all that creating the Active Directory in the beginning and all that, because ev all that steps are done by your administrators or your work before you. Um, most of the time, you're not worried about this. As a help desk, you are not doing this. You're not creating Active Directory. You're not doing any policy stuff. All you do is adding users, managing users, adding computers, and that's about it. You don't have to do anything else. And, and maybe in some cases you will, but most of the time you don't do anything like that. So you click on this link. What it will do, it will create a session for you in this virtual site, virtual labs. And on uh, now here's the thing about this. You might get a little bit installation assigned like ActiveX or something like that. Click yes to download that little piece of uh, software that this IE requires to run. So you will see this right here on the bottom, preparing for labs now. And uh, while this is doing, uh, the Active Directory is like something you need to learn about because it's not just fixing computers or fixing viruses and stuff like that. It's maybe this stuff is also good for you to learn because maybe in the future you might want to build up another you want to go for a server administrator site uh, jobs and all that. You need to really learn this. You need to pass some exams uh, related to Active Directory. So you will see this link right here, start your lab. You click on that. And once you click on that you will you get this information but you it's you, you don't have to worry about that right now so it, what you're seeing right now you're in Windows 2003 server basically and um, you can do anything in server and you have a time limit right here 1 hour 29 <coughs> minutes you can do anything here nothing's gonna happen all you can do is learn from it and that's why I think it's the best tool out there because it saves me like more than few hours trust me so this every company you go and you see a microsoft server in there you will see all this right here most of it and you're not doing anything you're not even touching this all this stuff right here all you gotta do is when you when you come to your work and somebody gets a call related to active directory all you do is come back here go to administrator tools and go to active directory users and computers so most of the time some people might have it for you on the on a desktop like this and all you do is log into the server whatever the server name is and you come back here and then you double click on it and it will take you to the active directory now you will see your company name out here contoso.com nasa.com mcdonald's.com whatever you'll see it right here and you click on it 
and then it depends if you if your company is a, a huge company and it has let's say for example a school it's a big school and you are working under a corporate and the corporate name is g g gbg or whatever you know they, the name is going to be right here and on the bottom you will see the school campuses all like campus one campus two and let's say there's 100 campuses you'll see 100 campuses in here and then you click on that campus and then you will see this information or maybe it's a small company it's a contoso.com and all you see is right here this so your job is a help desk now how does it work like how do you get a how do you get a call related to active directory now i'm going to use an example here let's say for example you get an email uh, from hr and in hr you get an email that hey um we have a new user starting um you have a new user starting on tomorrow her name is stacy khan okay her name is stacy khan she's gonna be um manager she's gonna be manager for business all right so she's a manager for business that's her title and some other stuff like uh her date of birth is uh 0403 maybe some other information related to this you'll get that email and then what you need to do is you'll come back here and you will add the user here but in most companies they have a little bit of they have already set up a little bit like you know some um all you basically will come back here and this part will be already done for you so i don't think you're going to be doing this let's say business department has a name okay so that's the name for business department and then what you need to do is you will see like it department on the bottom and blah 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 all the departments right here so you click here, right click on it, you go to new user, and this is what you're gonna be doing. As a help desk, you're gonna be doing this. So you come back here and then click on the user, and now you go back to the email and get the information from that email. So you add Stacy and type today. <laughs> Stacy Hum, okay? So that's the last name, first name. This part, this is a this is going to be a part that you have to remember this is it depends on each company and their rules of how they set up their names so one company might be doing scon okay that's how they add their names now bigger companies like you know if, like it's a very big company and they have a lot of people they wouldn't prefer doing just this because there can be a conflict there can be another Stacy con and then you're gonna have conflict so what they do is usually they will use their date of births with it too so if that's a date of birth they will use it with it and then it's less chances that there will be another person with the same name same last name and same date of birth so what you do is you do this part and then you click next and then you check this one and there will be a company manager will give you one password that you will use for each new user but then you'll have to check this one and as soon as they get the they sign in they'll get a prompt that hey you need to change your password okay so you will see this information now there will be another maybe here is it says finish but maybe in some companies what they do is they will they will also integrate exchange um, add-in in there so once you click on it you will get another prompt for email setup so you you make an email for them like scon at and then you, you you pick up mailbox if they have like you know different mailbox for different uh, different uh, like business or IT or anyone else and that's they will it will create their email but if you don't have this like for example here they don't have that set up here so you'll have to go to exchange and then open like the same thing and then you add a new user and then that's like you're adding an email address not a username you once you add this username over here you can you can basically find um, that user and then create an email for them so when you click when you click finish you will see Stacy Khan is added to this our system she's a new employee she just got added to the system and now what she would do is basically she will need a computer now that's another that's gonna be another part of your job so 
you will come back to the computers and then you click click right click on it and then click the computers again this is naming whenever it comes to naming you'll have a set of policy for that so maybe you guys are going to be doing scon 1w7 so she's getting number for uh, her first windows 7 computer so when you click next click next click finish you will see this person computer and this person is added to the system now see this was all related to one call that was like a person getting added to the system and you as a help desk doing all this stuff and there might be other things too there might be um like let's say for example they gave her a business uh, man manager for business title okay so you gotta do is you're gonna go back here and then update her description her office telephone number if they require or anything like that why do we do this now this is good for to keep it to keep a track because what's happening is many sites have active directory integration going on and what what happened is like if you go to their the different sites and and, and they have like uh, they manage your like all the stuff like descriptions and everything they get updated from your disc from active directory so they pull this information from active directory and then automatically updated in that site so it's very important to keep this right um, so okay that's one call what what other calls can you get as a help desk okay Stacy Khan worked there for three months and after three months she forgot her password and she tried four or five times and she got locked her like you know she might get locked depend how depending on how your administrator set up the policy so she will call you um, help desk um, I, my account is locked can you guys unlock it and um, I forgot my password um, can you guys reset my password so basically what you do is you come back here go to properties and in a in, in 2008 server you'll see on the bottom uh, account is locked so you click uncheck that and then click OK and her account will be unlocked now if she if she tried her password again if she remembers she will get in to the system but let's say if you get another call that um, can you reset my password all you're gonna do is right click and reset password and you can you will reset the password that's another call you might get a call that Stacy um, Stacy Khan is um, uh, no longer working here and we want you to d disable her account so you right click and disable the account right here okay now now you might get another call that Stacy Khan is moved to let's say Stacy Khan moved to IT department she is a new help desk person now, or help desk manager. So you move this person to here, and all the rights in this area will be also, you'll get a prompt that, okay, you're moving this person, but you know, there, there are certain rights and blah, 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 for special requirements that will be also taken care of. Now, when you move this person, let's say, do you have so many you have like thousands of thousands of people in here and you don't remember where to find Stacy Khan and let's say you come here you can't find it the, the good way will be to click here and it's a search option basically and entire directory and type Stacy now I see Stacy is on the bottom right here you can find that now that's it. That's some easy stuff that you need to do, and this is gonna be daily stuff for you. You're gonna get so many calls like that all the time to reset my password, um, add another computer name, or delete some computers from here that is not no longer in use, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, like I said, it's 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 a it will be good for you to practice this before if you're if you're new to this job or you wanna learn more about Active Directory. Then this is the best place for you to come down here play around with it, create some stuff here, delete some stuff here, do some stupid stuff with it so you can learn through your mistakes. And when you go to work area, you will be already know uh, when they tell you, okay, we have Active Directory, you need to add these, these, these people, and you're not like, like, huh, what is that, you know? So this is very good for you to learn. Now, let me think of anything else that you guys need to know as an Active Directory for help us.
Yeah, I don't think anything else you need to know. It's just maybe this adding users here, moving them over here and there, and then adding computers, and that's about it. You don't do anything else in Active Directory. Most of your like you know other stuff will be taken care of your um, administrators. They do all this like all the like let me tell you all right here like group policies and stuff like that. That 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 is mostly it's it's um, taken care of by your administrators um, you can also deploy some softwares through Active Directory and you're not doing that again um, so that was a little tutorial or Active Directory and how do we use it as a help desk or desktop support and hopefully you learn from it and again um, I'm gonna put this link um, on my lecture uh, and this is gonna be under chapter 3 Active Directory lecture number 10 in, um, I'll make another one pretty soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day.